Let's look at the topic. What are stakeholders? Let us discuss about this. Stakeholder is a person, group or organization that has interest or concern in something. Let me give you an example. In education, students are stakeholders. Why? Because they gain knowledge, they gain life skills, they develop their personalities. They get exposure to various topics that are required later on in life. They learn the facts about the earth, the environment, the human body, etc. Students also improve their literacy skills, communication skills, etc. They learn the facts about the history. They understand the geography of not only the place they are in, but also widely. After passing the 10th class, they are promoted for higher education, where they have additional subjects such as accounts, science, arts, etc. After schooling, they pursue for graduation in a particular field to become a doctor, an engineer, computer operator, etc. Then they become professionals. So students gain knowledge from education. Similarly, teachers are also stakeholders because, because their role requires for them to teach the children and in return, they earn a salary which is used for their livelihood to meet theirs and their family's basic needs which would include traveling, having a roof over their head, educating their own children in schools and living comfortably. An assistant director or a principal is a stakeholder of a school because although his or her role involves welfare of the students and development and growth of the children and teachers, their workforce, it also brings laurels and praise to the headmaster or headmistress of the schools from the various achievements of the students in sports, extracurricular activities, in academics, etc. These laurels bring fame and help strengthen the foundation of the school in a particular area. It also strengthens the longevity of the school. With the local administration or the local government under whose jurisdiction the school is functioning, even they play the role of a stakeholder in the activities of school. This comes about because when the school has higher achievements in various fields, academics, sports, skill development and better results in their board exams, it is also an achievement of the local administration and a feather in the cap for the local administration because of their support to the school and the organization. Hence, even though when we look at a school, we always presume that the stakeholders are just the students and the parents. However, if we look closer, we will realize that it is not only the students, the parents, but also the teachers, the other administrative staff, the non-teaching staff, the head of the organization and the local governing bodies. This was the example of a stakeholder. Now let us understand the forest stakeholders. Who are forest stakeholders? Let's see here. Did you see that? The stakeholders of forests are the forest department of the government, industrialists, forest and wildlife activists, and people living in or near the forest. What are their interests? Forest is very useful for them. People who live in and around the forest are dependent on the forest produce to lead their lives. Second, industrialists who use various forest products for their factories. There are different plants and trees in the forest which are used for medicinal purpose. Forest and wildlife activists who want to see the forest in their original form. 
Forest is a natural habitat for many plants and animals because it provides a suitable environment for them. When forest cover is removed, biodiversity can be severely impacted. And if there would be no trees in the forest, then floods could not be prevented. For wildlife, this can mean loss of shelter, food sources and migration routes. That is why forest and wildlife activists protect the forest. What are the interests of the government in forest? The forest department of the government owns the forest land and controls the resources from the forest. Industries use forest resources to make their products. And when they sell them, they pay taxes to the government. So this is how forest is also useful for the government. If all the trees are removed from the forest, then the trees will not grow instantly. It will take 10 to 20 years for a plant to become a tree. Without trees, industries will face huge loss. So it is important for us to limit the use of available resources. Without the natural habitat, the animals are left with no place to live and breed. This is the cause of animal migration. So it is important that we need to limit the use of natural resources because forest is very essential and useful for our life.